Damn, hey, hey, love that. Sharp cut. That was abrupt. <laughs> wow, yeah. we said we're on. In the morning. In the morning. It's early. It is, it is. Hi, who are you? What are you doing in our house? <laughs> uh. Hi, I'm Susan Ruth. Hi. What's up, What's up Susan Ruth? Ruth? So we got Cucumber, mm-hmm. yeah. Chunk, and Brian. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for having That's me here. Us. No, well, I guess thanks for having us. It's yeah. your show now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is your show? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the host of Hey Human Podcast, and I've been following you all for a while. Literally, I'm like that's, right that's, behind me. That's who dons the morning. Oh, that's what. I what watch is. you come and go. Is that what the little tippy taps on the ceiling is? That's yeah. me. Yeah, I usually leave a tip on the table when I do that. That's that's what she said. <laughs> that's what he does. So hi, how did hi. all three of you meet to come together for this? Check Not for I. this specifically, but oh, yeah. together. <laughs> I got a phone call that said, hey, Susan's coming to the studio. Can you be here? And I said, I'm here. There you go. Well, I appreciate yeah. that. But I mean, how did you three meet? Each other? It, yeah. Uh, I think we we met in college. In college, yeah. yeah. I went to college school together. Mm-hmm. Oh, you just kind of I just kind of showed up. In like a fucking tumbleweed. Yeah. I don't, I don't <laughs> yeah. know how you got here. Tumbleweed. Just <laughs> rolled in. <clears throat> uh, I, oh, I was, uh, I was staying in the garage. Oh, right. That's yeah, right. I was yeah, staying in the garage that this studio was started in. Yeah. yeah you and you I and just Joe kinda, hanging out together. You know, I auditioned for the show. Oh, like casting couch style? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. But literally, I was sleeping on the couch, so, oh. <laughs> so I was here. You still homeless? Yep. Great. Oh. Well, that's going to be hard. I guess now the weather's getting better, it's a little easier, but you're pretty furry. Yeah, it's fine, it keeps me warm. Okay, Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm only warm, warm on my head. Well, yeah. why don't you guys give him a place to crash? Well, they yeah. do. Oh, they, okay. Yeah. yeah. And we just find them asleep all over yeah. the place. Yeah, they're at the corner the back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah I noticed no when longer. I got here, you were out cold. Yep. You're a heavy sleeper, for yep. sure. I get, yeah, get my beauty rest. It's what yep. keeps us fur. That's right. It is nice. beautiful. I'm a little jealous. Wow, nice. that was good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I practice. I practice in the mirror every morning. That was to, a, that to was impress. a Brett girl moment yeah. right there. Do y'all know what a Brett girl is? Probably nope. not. No. before your time. No. That's a Brett probably girl. Probably older than all of you. Uh, cucumber. Y- yes. So yes. I read that you have 20 children? Uh, uh-huh. And counting, yeah. Every, every time I ask Jessica, <laughs> there's know. more. So I can only actually be responsible for about 20 of them. Yeah. How in the world do you keep that many mouths fed? <laughs> I run quickly from the alimony lawyers. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, what was the cause of the divorce? Uh, can you talk uh, about that? Well, you know, uh, Je- 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 yeah. Je- Jessica basically got sick of my shit. Uh, yeah. more, more than Don't we Wait, we can get rid of you when we get sick of your shit? No, yeah. you can't. <laughs> oh. no. She could. We're contractually obligated to enjoy his uh, shit. That's right. It's the last time I signed with, anything. With. And Chunk? Yeah? Uh, you're, are you, is it you that's looking for work right now? Outside of this? Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think we're all looking for work. Yeah. I'd like to get yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll take money. You got some? <laughs> you, got some work? <laughs> you got some work? I don't have any money either. It's no, ad, okay. My podcast ad free for some inexplicable reason. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, you're my first non humans for the show. Yeah, so I have let, had an immortal wood sprite type Ooh, Santa Claus was okay. on the show. Okay. And then a dead okay. guy, Abe Lincoln, was on the show. <laughs> dead guy. Still yeah. a human. Just a dead guy. <laughs> Still a human, just yeah. dead. guy. Yeah, so yeah. maybe we should talk about the title of your podcast. Um, hey, human? It's yeah. it's, uh, it's slightly it's, exclusive. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. And I apologize. Now that I, I have you all here, I suppose yeah. I need to think about that. Yeah. yeah. But if I call it "Hey, felt people" for one episode, also that uh, felt hid. Thank you. Felt hid people. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 It's okay. awkward. You should change your podcast to "Hey, meat bags." You should. You should. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really what well, it's all about. Well, it's interesting because I uh, often call myself uh, a person, like a soul in a meat stick. Yeah. Which oh, yeah. upsets stick. my best friend Ellen. She thinks that's the grossest thing she's ever heard. A meat stick. Yeah. <laughs> and if it's Is that like a good? Would that be a good pickup line? Like, "Hey, meat stick." I, it uh, really depends on your audience, I would say. Yeah. I'm sure I know a couple bars where that would work yeah. great for you. And if okay. you were walking in the bar and you just sort of did this and looked down and said that, I think people might be upset. Hey. <laughs> or it's the beginning of a Slim Jim commercial that we should sell. <laughs> Snap into a meat stick. That's right. Brother. I'm surprised none of you have cups of coffee right now. We, uh, we had already drank it. You already drank it? Yeah. 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 Cucumber, I, I read, was a big coffee. I, I am something mm-hmm. of an addict, yes. Yeah. Well, have y'all ever heard of my show? Or, mm-hmm. No. I have. Oh, you have? Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, oh that's why you invited her. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, that's what she's here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you heard of it. How'd you hear of it? Huh? How'd you hear of it? Oh, she's funny, people. It's from oh, the, the Second City. You're oh. funny. Place. Yeah. yeah, I went to Second City with oh. the manager. What about the first city? Uh, <laughs> we've never found it. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Atlantis. <laughs> Uh, Cucumber, you, your manager, so you all have a manager, correct? Well, yeah. 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 So you expect yeah. me to do paperwork by myself, for myself? No. no. Yeah, are, they yeah. Get, are your managers getting you good gigs? Uh, no, Sometimes. actually, we've been looking for new representation. It's been a little while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. New representation. Mm -hmm. That's going to be hard to do, though, to find someone you really trust. And... Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, all I need is money, so I don't really, you know, get me money, that's all I need. Why don't you just branch out on your own? Because that's a lot of work. Yeah, that's a yeah. lot. Yeah, I have to it try. Is. I don't want to try. I yeah. just want to show up, make money. Go home. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Although sometimes taking the 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 whole of your empire onto yourself. Who told you about the whole of my empire? <laughs> <laughs> is better. Well, all right. So what do y'all do when you are not here? How do you? What do you do when you hang out? Sleep. Do you <laughs> hang sleep. Out to, you do saw you hang that. Out together? No. No. Why would we do that? <laughs> this is the mo This is the, all I could take. Yeah. 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 All right. Do you get along outside of this, or is this all just a show? It's kind of a pen and, pen and teller thing. We're like, let's respect. There's, you know, yeah. acquaintanceship. Yeah. And then once Wait, we go do they home, not like each other? <laughs> no, that's, that's, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, okay. It's yeah. just, uh, yeah, so that's we good. don't have to be friends. <laughs> yeah. We're like, kind of sending arm touch time. right there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Shh. I'll tell you what we are. Uh, <laughs> you can tell who wears the pants around here. Me. No, no, no people, you're oh. also different. I think that's really cool. Uh, that's and you up. obviously, in your, I don't I want to say in your world, because you're in my world, we're all in the yeah. same world. Yeah. But what do you think uh, y'all can teach the humans about that? Uh, it's not our responsibility to yeah. teach humans about us. Um, Google it. Yeah, Google, Google it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll do like an Instagram slide thing that, that, that people oh, yeah. can share. <laughs> Do you find that kids are more receptive to being open than adults, obviously? Oh, in oh, general, yeah. absolutely. Kids yeah. are great. Yeah. Kids yeah. are better. Yeah. Kids are better. Yeah. You, I, I, I'm afraid to say this because I feel like you've heard this before. Uh -huh. I'm sure I know what you're going to say. I know, and yeah. I don't want to say it. Out with it. It's one of two. Let's see which <laughs> one it is. All right, go for it. Is it the one without a nose or the one with the wrong color? Harry Kissinger. Oh! <laughs> Do you get that a lot? Yeah. 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 Kind of you get that? I like that one, though. That one I like. You get that one a lot? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Just never here for it. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, sure. yeah. Is that right. the guy that works for Nixon? Yeah. Not cool. Well, and a few people. Do you I ever I... met him? Kissinger? Yeah. Do you have any famous relatives that we know of? That we might recognize? Or I don't know any of my Nixon. blood relatives outside of my evil twin pickle. Yeah. yeah. Abandoned. Is yeah. what he is. Mm -hmm. What what happened to Pickle? Why did he turn evil? That, I don't know. Why does anybody turn evil? He oh. made a Great choice, question. a dark choice, and that, and we don't really talk anymore. We don't we don't oh. do Thanksgivings or anything. I'm sorry. That's cool. That's, Fuck him. That's too bad. Oh wow. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, maybe you'll make up before you know you die. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the only time that would be acceptable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, okay. And uh, Brian. Yeah. You have a very traditional name. Did your your parents yep. name you after someone or? After my third uncle. Your third uncle? What third, happened yeah. to the first two? No idea. Oh. Didn't meet him. Yeah. Only met my third one. Okay. When I was a baby. Do you favor him? Do you look like him? He's the only one I met, so yes. Oh. He's my favorite. No, no, <laughs> not as he your favorite. Do you, Do you favor him? Do you look like him? Oh, I see. Yeah, he's also my favorite, and I look nothing like him. Oh, okay. What does yeah. he look like? That's a great question. I was uh, five years old when I met him. Brain's a little mushy about that. Um, but he's he's taller than me. Oh. Yeah. Or at least he's you taller than me when I was five. Mm -hmm. huh? Okay. He's nothing. We Go didn't on. know that was possible. Yeah. yeah. You absolute <laughs> monster. Yeah, we're big. I come from a big family. Yeah, you are, you are a big boy. You yeah. Gotta let it. Robo boy. Big brain because your head is gigantic. No, 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 no. no. no? no the, the fur, the fur just covers it all. And all the fluid squeezing that brain down. Yeah. When you're wet, are you like this big? Yeah, madam, this is a <laughs> yeah. Show. Please <laughs> pay for that. Um, no, it's not the OnlyFans, not the Twitch. I get it. Yeah, they yeah. call you a meat stick. They call they'd call me a felted stick. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Just, I don't like that. That's a, yeah. That's a, just thinking oh, there's of a, the there's a Yeah, there's a famous uh, a famous Muppet person. Yeah. Character. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know how we want to go about this. No, 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 no. 
I know. <laughs> yeah. Let's watch this happen. Yeah, let's watch this. See how this goes, guys. Huh. Ent- entertaining. Mm-hmm. Wait, are you not allowed to reference Muppets? No, sure. Well, we I mean, we can, but Is that, just, are they, they just get paid more than we do. So. Oh, yeah. Anyway, Beaker. <laughs> they get paid. That's what I would look like if I got wet. Uh, okay. That's where I was going with it. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah. yeah, safer than I thought it was going to yeah. be. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Um, it, how y'all feel about the Hensons, M- Muppets, the, the, all the creations? Oh, they're great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice yeah. people. Wish yeah. to have their money. Yep, just wish we had their money. I get that. I, mean, I went to see a performance of uh, Jim Henson's son with a whole bunch of people. It was a couple of years ago. It was pre-pandemic. And... Oh wow, it was marvelous! <laughs> uh, it was so cool. Was it and, uh, up? I bought, I bought a felted. Yeah. yeah. Is that weird? Is that like? Yeah. Yeah. God, can you, I feel kind of weird saying that. Oh yeah, you I can bought. buy one of us too if you want to. I know, but that feels <laughs> weird. It feels no, weird to say. No, you go anywhere and do anything for money. Yep. Same. Yeah. So if you pay enough, we'll okay, go yeah. On. Well, it, it was a, a really cool <laughs> night, and <clears throat> he kept me very warm on my hands. I put both. Oh. Well, anyway, All I don't know if you guys talk, talk about that <laughs> kind of thing, but yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay. Kids aren't watching. Oh, not this not. early. I hope not. Or if they are, we're not responsible because we put a tag on our channel. <laughs> yep. Uh, mature audiences only. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They should yep. be in school. Or yeah, on Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, on Sunday. <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday. Sunday school. They should be in no, Sunday yes, school. No, yes, they shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you have really All distinctive right. uh, personalities. Do you do, you well, do thanks. a lot of, it's is like there a lot of, Is there a lot of infighting? I'm just saying, like, kind of, huh? is there a lot of infighting No, we don't, guys? we're not allowed to fight in here. We have to go outside. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. By the Who, dumpster. Who's the bossiest? Yeah. Who's the bossiest? <laughs> Who are you pointing at, Brian? <laughs> you. Fuck! <laughs> Am I the bossiest? You're just the yeah. loudest. I'm the loudest, yeah, but the loudest. I just, I just makes you more bossier. Boss so it just I follows. Who's yeah. yeah. the no, sweetest? I, me. <laughs> <laughs> My self-proclamation chunk is the sweetest. Yeah. Ryan. Oh. Ryan's, Ryan's the sweetest. Ryan's the sweetest. Yeah. Ryan. yeah. As, a take, si- as a sign of weakness. He oh. takes the most shit. Being yeah, kind like is not a sign of weakness, puppy. Chunk. Speaking of puppies, anything we raise today is going to go towards charity. The what? Pup, it, pup, oh, it says for charity. Culture. Pup culture rescue. Pup. Oh, pup. 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 P-U-P. You are pup. pup, I think, in the gym. They're the a no-kill uh, foster rescue program. Mm. And they are oh. awesome. Yeah. And are they are real cute puppies and dogs. Are there other foster rescue programs that kill? Foster there. farms. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, yeah, the, there are foster programs that will foster the dogs, but then eventually they go back to the pound mm. um, and to shelters and things. So mm-hmm. this, they are their goal is to keep the animals out of the shelters completely. So, right. so that's yeah. why we're here today. So make sure you guys. Uh, it's the only reason. Good tip, <laughs> tip in the thing. You know, tip in the it. thing uh, for charities. Exclamation point! Tip in the. Chat. Thank you. There you go. And maybe that will get changed to pup culture. Pup yeah. culture. Pup rescue. culture. And y'all, so you play role-playing games together. We do. Yeah. Specifically yeah. Dungeons and Dragons or all different kinds? Usually kind. Dungeons yeah. and Dragons, mm-hmm. but we'll play we'll play all kinds of stuff. We've we played some mini games. Yeah, yeah, we've done the Land of Eve. I've never played Dungeons and Dragons. Well, you're wow. gonna. Yeah, you should. I really want to. Right now? Uh, no, 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 no. Do you get you pick your own person that you play? Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. you build Create your character. Your character. So there's yeah. like a long list of, of races that you can choose from. And they have their own like benefits, drawbacks, whatever. But then you also pick like your profession, what you're good at. So oh. like if you're a ranger, you're gonna have like a little animal companion. You're usually gonna you know pew pew arrows and there's magic people, there's fighting people, and everything in between. Uh, it's super fun. Yeah. And then if you don't like the rules, change them because it's mm-hmm. in the book. There's like, yeah, no, it's fun. Who cares? Yeah. Oh, you can do whatever you want. Basically. Pretty much. But it's You're... usually at the discretion of whoever's running the game, which would be the dungeon master. Yeah, so that's they're the gonna call god those in the rules. game, right? Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Is it like a god or is that? Nah, they're no. not. They're like, okay, so think of it like like a, it's like a, a big long form improv scene. And the DM's sort of like the guy yelling out suggestions. Oh, he's okay. going to give you your setting. He's going to tell you what's going on. He'll introduce some other like uh, non-player characters or NPCs for for you all to interact with, and he'll play all those people. And then, uh, and then you're off to the yeah, races. Yeah, it's usually the yeah. person most willing to read the entire book to learn how to play. Okay. I don't know a DM who's ever read the entire book. It's just like I need this one thing. Flip That's the it. book. Flip the thing. Huh? It- Wait, there's a whole, there's a whole static book. You see that book? bookshelf right yeah, there? You see that bookshelf? All uh, those black and red books. It, it, but that's so. There's tons and tons of options. It's not like one, one thing that yeah, makes yeah. all the answers. Right, right. Because it yeah. is. You want to build your own story with your friends. They okay. have things called modules, which is like a pre-built story. But those are even harder to run because you have to remember yeah, shit. everything. Yeah. Oh, As opposed okay. to just bullshitting as you go. Well, I've <laughs> watched on, uh, on TikTok. I've watched some of you. 
play the games. Oh, yes. And it's fun because y'all are saucy and funny and I really enjoy oh, it. Yeah, no. it's really good. Hey, Thanks for that. Thank you for that. Five bucks for Extra. the pups. If you were going to give me a character, what would you give me? Mm. High a elf bard. bard. Yep. Ooh, high, high elf, elf bard. bard. Mm -hmm. That yeah. sounds. That's you have to be a bard because you're too funny to play anything else. Uh, so you gotta, yeah. you gotta be a bard because you can, you can literally talk shit to cause damage as a bard. <gasps> mm -hmm. Really? Which is awesome. Yeah, oh, yeah it's called that. vicious mockery, and it's my favorite thing yeah. in any game ever. Oh, I love mm -hmm. that. That's a lot of fun. Hey, right, did you start playing Dungeons Dragons young, young, mm -mm. adulted people? Recently. Or? No, yeah. pretty recently, actually. Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah. Just got into it, mm -hmm. as one would say. What? I've always wondered, what's childlike for when when you were kids? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was your childhood? What were they like? I mean, did you go play with other felted people? Or is it more <laughs> human interaction? Yeah, that's all I can play with. No, yeah. but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. were you around? Parents were like, don't yeah. go topside to so, see those humans. I was raised in a bakery, so I met all kinds of people mm -hmm. who'd come in and buy rolls and stuff for my papa. And uh, my That's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that a lot, huh? I did, I did hear that. <laughs> <laughs> this lady kept coming in screaming about eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Like, this is a bakery, we don't have eggs. Yeah, so I, I was put to work at a young age, so I didn't really get to start playing until I was an adult. Yeah, I had a big family, so there was a lot of me's running around. Yeah, like, a lot of yous? Yeah, well, you I, got clones? I'm, I'm, no, I'm from the Bay Area, and I have a lot of big family over there. Yeah. yeah. And Brian? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, life was fun. Only child. Oh, only oh, child. Yeah. Oh, so you're the dick in the room. I get yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have one. He's the meat stick. In yeah. The room. <laughs> right. uh, do you get annoyed when people see you out and about and they want to touch you and feel feel? Oh, like no, I love to oh, be touched. Oh, you do? Yeah. yeah. Normally he charges for it. That's yeah. so. Yeah. If you get, if you get touched for free, free mm -hmm. well, you're good. Yeah, consider yourself lucky. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, Chunk. Yeah. Tell me about your big family. Where are you in the in the pile up? Uh, I'm definitely I'm like in the middle. There's I have like 20 cousins. 20 I had lost count. 20 or so cousins, mm -hmm. and or about so. six or seven brothers and sisters also lost count. Okay. And I land right in the middle of everybody. Do you uh, have middle child syndrome? Yeah, a lot of us do. Because yeah. a lot of us are what? Except for a me. lot of us are middle, <laughs> middle child. So yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that side of the room. Oh, what about that side? What'd you say, Brian? I said that side of the room. Not yeah, a lot he, of us. He's got only child syndrome. Over yeah, there. only yeah. child syndrome. Yeah. All right. Uh, I I don't know. I I feel like I have so many questions, but I'm I gotta say I'm a little nervous to ask the wrong question, so I don't want to be. Uh, uh, feltist is. Yeah. yeah, fe yeah. Is yeah. it feltist? Yeah. 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 <laughs> do you do you when you date? Do you date? Other felted. Oh no, folks? my ex-wife well, is a full-fledged human. Yeah, uh, yeah, your, yeah, your ex is a human. That's right. Yeah. She's a comedian, right? Yeah, our, yeah. our children are not great to look at. Are no. they? They're very sweet. <laughs> how did? Yeah, how did that work? They're out? they're a little fuzzy, but they got beautiful long red hair. Ah, <laughs> nice. Are they funny? Some of them look <laughs> okay. Funny Why looking. so many children, by the way? So they just come out in batches? Or? You see, cucumbers yeah, the like a rabbit. The gestation period for our people is actually quite brief. <laughs> Oh, uh, we weren't married for very long, only about a year or so. Yeah. Oh wow, and you, you, but you said you were continually to have children. So is there oh, residual yes. sperm happening? What's going Cucumber's on? Cucumber's like a rabbit. Uh, residual just, sperm is also my yeah. emo band name. <laughs> <laughs> and I just kept churning them out. You know, it's just it's, yeah. it's, it's okay. a fun time. Is the dating world? I mean, I don't know it's the pandemic and everything, so it's harder to date. But yeah. you know, do y'all get a lot of action, or because you're very cute, it's, all of you? It's been a while. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's been it's a while. while. Been a yeah. while. Yeah. Yeah. What with the with 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 pandemic and all this, it's a lot harder to put yourself yeah. out there because you don't know who's harboring no. what disease. Oh, mm. well, that's true. Mm. And yeah. not just the pandemic one. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Mm. Are there felted diseases that humans? Whoa! Rainbow oh. Christmas Matthew, thanks for that. Tipped a hundred bucks for the puppers. Yeah! Oh, right. Thank you, Rainbow oh, Thank you. So nice. So oh, appreciate nice. it. Thank you so much. That's great. <clears throat> you all like dogs? Are you big dog people? Love yeah. dogs. Dogs are my favorite. Yeah, I love dogs. Because you do not like cats. You look a little bit like. Chew, chew, I don't see. I don't want to say it, but chew toys. Wow! Wow! Yeah, wow. I know. It's wow. Just, wow. No, no, I mean that's that's, that's a pretty accurate. That, that's, that's pretty yeah. true. Yeah. I might squeak if you bite yeah, me. Yeah, you know the the first chew me toy too. models were <laughs> felted friends. That was some of our first work in, in the industry. Was yeah. you know posing for those sorts of things. But oh, uh, really? so far, dogs have actually liked me. D shocker! I've never been bit by a dog. Mm -hmm. They've let me pet them and kiss them and smooch them and uh, nothing. I like Yay. to ride them. 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. Chuck okay. likes to ride anything. Horse, like a horse. Yeah, yeah. He's having this conversation. <laughs> Brian's a little saucy today. <laughs> today. <laughs> so you wear glasses. Yep. Are you nearsighted or farsighted? <laughs> Are you nearsighted or farsighted? Uh, nearsighted. Where's your lunch money? <laughs> I know. Yeah. You gotta shake me upside I, down. So I, the, I, I say coins? that for anybody that isn't gonna be able to watch that. They don't know that mint necessarily because they're oh, listening uh, on my oh. podcast. It's audio only. I haven't moved to the big time like oh, y'all with audio the video. Only. That makes yeah. sense. So. We'll, we'll give you this video. You'll have it. People can watch it. If you're listening yeah. to it now, stop listening to it and go watch what? the video. We're watch adorable. It. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I really am drawn to, to Brian's blue. I think it's such a beautiful color. My what? Our chunks blue. Sorry. Wow. I was like, that's I'm orange. Sorry. Okay. Blue. okay. Blue. No, Do you need my glasses? God, orange is my favorite color. I was looking straight at Brian when I said that. It's, I love the blue. <laughs> See, it, mes it. it mesmerized me. I do that. Yeah. And chunk. Yeah. It's nice of blue, though. You. I, now, you get asked a lot if you're related to Grover, right? There it is. There it is. We're yeah. waiting for it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, I know you get asked a lot. Remember, remember when you were afraid if you were going to ask Feltus questions? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, That's one no, of them. So the, that's, my question is about that. Do you feel, why do you think people want to lump you in like that? Uh, just, I don't know. They just see a color and they're like, you must be related. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you kind of mm -hmm. look like... Cookie Monster, too. No. So. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, I don't. You don't think so? We're similar to no, you. Yeah, that's about it. Color. Yeah, really same color. But that's, the, that's the thing. It's for humans, I suppose. You got that nice, full, round face. Yeah, yeah. Cookie yeah. Monster's like two pancakes yeah. slapping together. You know, Cookie Monster yes. doesn't have a nose. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Also, that. Who's the big blue uh, Muppet with the, <clears throat> with the big no? There's one that has a big nose. Oh, boy. A uh, big purple nose. I think it's purple. Big purple nose. And what color is he? You think we all know each other? He's blue. <laughs> I, I do. You don't all know each other? <laughs> no, <laughs> not Such personally. Such a rude question, isn't it? <laughs> See, this is why I'm nervous. I'm afraid I'm going to ask you the wrong question. Nah. We'll let you know. All right. Does anybody <laughs> yeah. have any questions that are watching? Uh, oh, uh, well, uh, Befrenator asked both video and podcast at the same time. You, you, you choose playback however you wish. That's right. Yeah, and the podcast so, will come out in a couple weeks on Hey Human. But. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you go follow Hey Human Podcast. Hey, uh, and if you, any of you have questions in the chat, feel free to chuck them out there. Yeah, definitely. Chuck yeah. them out there. Chuck them out. Hey, where do I find your podcast? Anywhere? Uh, it's everywhere. Yeah, Even the evil Spotify that everyone hates right now. Uh, it's everywhere. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Um, oh, wah -ha, Exactly. Mm -hmm. the evil laugh. Evil. <laughs> the evil laugh. Wah -ha, wah -ha, wah -ha. What of all... So who are your characters in D&D? Oh, it changes all the oh, time. Right yeah. now, I'm playing a level 10 fairy named Timothy who has a laser eyeball, oh. pimp boots, a pimp hat, and a cane that can, mm. I think, what is it, catch spells and then blast them back. I also Don't have, you have a, zebra shoes? Ze zebra shoes. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm saving it for the right time, Ryan. And then I also have um, a, a double entendre gun that charges every time I make a dirty joke and then I can unleash it. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. bet that happens a lot. It sure does. It sure does. It. It's my favorite thing. Yeah. Every episode. I'm, yeah. I'm playing a, a bugbear named uh, Sir Tackle Bon Frito. Um, okay. Your title's much longer now. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor, his royalty, it's something, royalty? something else. Yeah, I'm a king. Okay. Yeah, king and a doctor. I'm a king, a Esquire. doctor, and a lawyer. Esquire. Not to yeah. be confused with Doctor King. Yes. <laughs> All right, and Brian. <clears throat> and I'm playing Schmaladin, the paladin. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, there it is. It. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. there it is. <laughs> he never uh, said it together before. Nope. Uh, yeah, level eight paladin, or no, level eleven. Eleven. We're eleven now. Uh, stout halfling. Mm. Oh. So like a like a, a small stout human. Okay. Do you do you have to earn the level then? You start out mm -hmm. as one, and then yeah. it goes up. From yeah, like... we do do things in the game and uh, experiences. Mm -hmm. uh, based on DM's discretion when yeah. you level up. Because you can start at different levels. I would honestly recommend nobody start at level one. Start at three, because then you start to actually get special things that your character can do. One is like maybe your very first time ever touching the game, just to understand it. But after that, you gotta mm -hmm. you do want, You want the toys to play with, right? And you're like, oh, yeah. I don't have any powers yet. <clears throat> when you die, <laughs> excuse me, when you die in the game, do mm -hmm. you... When you come back, do you automatically level up, or do you have to go backwards? Oh, when you die, you, you die. You're done. You oh, rip that's up that it? Sheet. Yep. Make yeah. a new one. Make a new character. Oh wow. Yeah. Aw. Do you have burials and things? Sure. You can. Memorial. You can if you want. Yeah. Is there a D and D graveyard that? Has <laughs> <a story? laughs> there should be. 
Mm, we should visit so that sometime in we one should. of our shows. I don't know how many of our characters stay dead, though. We die a lot, but the chat is very <laughs> kind and finds ways yeah. to bring us back. Yeah. Oh, you can come back as a ghost Well, character? on our show, you can on come back. On our show, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's Not nice. normally though. Oh. Not normally. Everybody oh, yeah. gets a prize. And sort yes. of in the lore, like if you're playing D and D straight, you can usually like literally march into hell and go D &D. get your friend's soul back. But it's hard. It's a thing that you can do. I yeah. Think. Yes, yeah, so you can. There's in-game yeah. stuff there's, to there's, bring there's people ways. back. I'm, I was telling you earlier that before we started that I just found Supernatural because I'm always a thousand years late to any television show, and mm -hmm. they, there's a lot of fetching from hell in that show. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. What kind of stuff do you have to go through to, to do that? Do you have to fight like demon monsters, or do you actually have to? I mean, I'm I'm really curious because yeah. again, never played it, so I'm wondering how intricate everything it, gets. And again, that sort of all comes down to the DM. There are like so like there are like Avernus. Uh, Avernus is like D and D's hell. And oh, okay. There, there's like a whole like module you can buy that tells you everything you need to know about that. But at the same time, if you're running the game, it's whatever you say, and the players just deal with that. So it can mm -hmm. be as easy or as hard as you like. It can mm -hmm. have as many or as few encounters as you like, and. It's just fun. When you get to be DM, is that because you've amassed a certain number of points or levels? Or <laughs> no, you're, you're no. just the sucker who has to do all the work. Who has work. to deal with the yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Well, my, my brother has been playing D&D forever, so I grew mm -hmm. up watching him play with his friends, mm -hmm. and they they would play on these big hexagonal drawing Oh, yeah. Some paper and stuff. We got and he, maps. he would paint little lead figures and all yeah. that. Kind all of the thing. lead ones are good. Yeah, yeah, he was into really hardcore. Still is. And uh, he was, <clears throat> excuse me, I keep the coffee is eating at my throat. He, <laughs> it's good coffee, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. But it's also slowly killing me. <laughs> it, it's it's really destroying your body. It, it might be. There's some hemlock in there or something. I don't know what's happening. It's fine. I recently learned that hemlock bark is edible. <laughs> is I it? Even know what that I is. guess so. I don't know. TikTok told me. Who knows if it's true? Oh, don't. Yeah, there's a lot of witches on TikTok. So beware. Um, anyway, <laughs> he just <laughs> he just he just started doing um, the dungeon master thing, and mm -hmm. he's so excited about it. He oh, and he was working on this whole last. story oh, yeah. and the whole thing. I uh, encourage. He he also he writes poetry for fun. I encouraged him to do like mm -hmm. an elven poetry thing inside of his oh, yeah. thing, but he didn't do it. That oh. was my good idea that he didn't Waste. care about. <laughs> Almonds, thud. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's a. Is that hemlock or is that the other one? That's. What's the one that smells like that's almonds? Cyanide. Cyan cyanide is the apple seed one. Uh, right? no, no, no. Um, no, I don't know. Poisons with perception. Yeah, I don't poison poisons. people a whole lot. When so. I was growing up, my mom had this book of how to kill people. She was oh. writing a murder mystery for what? fun. Yeah, oh. and uh, no. I remember coming across that book and and reading it cover to cover. <laughs> it's like, whoa, there were poisons and mushrooms. But I hope I don't disappoint my mother. I was like, that was it the anarchist cookbook yeah, that was running around the, yeah. like the playground. Yeah. Is that oh, the gosh. is that the one where you bomb stuff though? Yeah, yeah. yeah. like it's, it's where it's you can create stuff at home. Make bombs, make poisons, pick locks, like all the life skills that you need to do terrible, terrible things. Yeah. That's on the FBI watch list. Right? It sure yeah. is. You, Don't look it up, kids. Have you I probably should have led with that. Yeah. yeah. Don't do it's it. weird the books that are on there, though. Uh, the autobiography of, of Malcolm X is on that list. What? Like somehow reading about Malcolm X will make you a, a target for the FBI. It's very strange. Yikes. I was uh, I was flying. This is totally off topic, but I was flying once, and I was I was reading I was rereading that book, and um, I'd never been pulled at the airport. Y'all are. You know, felt it of color, so you probably get pulled at the airport more than I would, right? I usually but, tuck myself in the lug and yeah, yeah me. okay, yeah. And yeah. Uh, anyway, so I was on the phone with my dad, and I said, "I'm reading this book. I'm really curious to know." And this could have just been a coincidence, but I thought, I wonder if when I'm reading this, if I walk through the airport with it out reading it, if I'll get pulled in line, and I did. And I thought, oh, that's really interesting. Because, you know, there's cameras all over. And it's very conspiracy theorist. You. But I thought it was interesting. Never been pulled out before, never pulled out since. But reading that book, I got pulled. And Maybe they just wanted to double scan you? Maybe. I was wearing a cute outfit that day. See? <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. I just thought that was weird. Are you big readers? Yes. No. See, I try. I'm, I, I, I would call myself more of a book collector. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that book looks nice. I'll read that someday. Oh, yeah. that one looks good too. And I just buy a bunch and they sit on my shelves. Aww. Like Thomas Jefferson, just got a bunch of books and I don't really read all of them. Why Why don't you make time to read? Because he can't. He can't, you can't read? Mm-mm. <laughs> Ryan, I'll teach you to read. All right, how okay. do you start? Uh, One letter at a time, honey. Okay. Honestly, yeah. B, 
are not right wow. now. Not right now. No. All right. So we'll, we'll work on it later. And she didn't even uh, teach you. You're a savant. <laughs> <laughs> well, she said one letter at a time. I still haven't read what it says. Yeah. You said B-R, but that was actually S and T. So. No. <laughs> we'll I was way that. off. You were so off. Uh, Cucumber, what was your latest book that you've read? Uh, I'm currently reading, a, it's like a young adult fantasy called Dark Rise, um, but Rise. I also recently re reread Dune. Uh, One um, of my favorite books of all time. Me Dune? too! Yeah, oh, oh yeah. Oh, you like that Star Wars knockoff? Uh, I'm gonna <gasps> bite you. You bite your tongue. <laughs> I like, I like, yeah. My grandfather, I my grandfather was in the Naval Academy and was roommates with uh, Frank Herbert. They yeah. were, they were roommates. Uh, who's and that? <laughs> God. God. Chunk, you should read it. Do you read a lot, Chunk? Sometimes. I do audiobooks. Dune is one of the... It's so good. It's one of the best books. It's got everything. It's mm -hmm. got romance. It's got intrigue. It's got politics. It's got murder, most foul. Mayor, it's, it's so Peter good. Piter. Yeah. I really, <laughs> Peter Piter. Peter Piter. Peter Piter picked Pickle. a... What? Peck of... <laughs> Did Spice. you like the movie? Did y'all like the movie? Yeah, yeah it was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I was nervous. Yeah, I mean, the stuff they cut was... made sense. I still miss it. And what pisses me off is I know they shot it because I've seen the screenshots of those scenes. So, yeah. But he's like, I'm never going to do an extended edition. <laughs> like, fucking no. give it to well, us. Well, that would be a six-hour movie. So I was... don't care. Yeah. I will binge 12 hours of a new you know, show. I would, too. Yeah. I would, too. I, I would was really the whole thing. disappointed by the uh, Zendaya clickbait. <laughs> and I really wanted her to be in that a whole lot more. Yeah, a lot she's more a than beautiful woman. Yeah, when's that yeah. coming out? Yeah. Hmm? Well, just watch a bunch of Euphoria until Dune 2 comes out. <laughs> I just kept thinking that John Williams' theme was going to come at some point, and John Williams never showed up. Yeah, or Jaw was. Or Jaw was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my! I see. I'm I'm so not on your team. I'm with cucumber. It's, yeah. it's such a great book. It is. It is. Yeah. It's in my. It's probably in my top twenty of all time. I still haven't. I haven't finished five, and I haven't read six. So I got to go all the way through again from the beginning. I'm I'm in the oh, middle of messiah hard. again. Huh? You're diehard. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, yeah. Evil, oh, you have shut no up idea. about it. You have no I idea. I also have a lot of Dune board games. You want to come play Dune board games with me? Uh, sure, <laughs> absolutely. I'll ride a worm for you, baby. Oh, hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm into Dune. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? This Dune sounds all right to it me. Sounds okay. <laughs> I could get into that. You know, it's all about the vibration. <laughs> Oh, yep. sorry, Chunk. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, yeah, Chunk fucks without rhythm, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. What kind of girls are y'all into? All of them. Yes. How many? Yeah, oh. all of them. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You, you... I, li I like funny people. That, that's what, that's yeah. how, that's all how Jessica and I happened. Funny. Mm -hmm. Funny. I mean, really, you give me any kind of attention, I'm in. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get that. Do you like, you sort of like the petting nice thing? Aw. <laughs> <laughs> it works. <laughs> yep. Oh wait, are you are you are you bi? I'm are you a lot pan? of things. Yeah, you... a lot of things. Oh okay, all right, that's cool. That's cool. Oh. <laughs> I was cool, like, cool, cool, you cool, seemed cool, kind of cool, defensive cool. for a second with with cucumbers. So I wasn't sure what was what was going on there. You yeah. were defensive. Uh, it was defensive. It was defensive. No, it wasn't. Okay, I don't know. There was like a, a moment I thought. I it was like fun. a lot of people. It's just a lot of in here. Yeah, it is tension. It was tension. some tension. Yeah. Is it sexual tension? Always. Yeah. Oh, I, I, was, I, I didn't realize. Yeah, all tension is probably sexual tension. Yeah. You think? <laughs> like the one on my shoulders? Yeah, that's that's sexual probably tension? sexual tension. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty sexual. The dumbest thing. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a, a because you're so much fur? Well, not you, cucumber, so much. But do you yeah. all have a, a way to keep clean? What's your go-to products and things? Showering. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> but do you have like a specialty shampoo or? All right, it's regular shampoo, but I have to buy a special conditioner to keep it soft. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. that flea medication because mm -hmm. that helps. Yeah, uh, I, I don't wash. Just uh, natural oils. Yeah, he's like a chinchilla, and he'll just, mm -hmm. I've seen him take a dust bath, but... Yeah. <laughs> I can actually see that. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Works out better this way. <laughs> yeah, tell me, you two, uh, Chunk and Brian, what it... Well, you, Brian, you, you're not a big reader, so... But what's a favorite adaptation movie that you mm. like? That you thought they did well. Like, oh, like for book, example, book, uh, I loved the book Ender's Game, but I hated the movie. I thought oh, it was yeah. terrible, yeah. and they mm. missed the mark so hard. Yeah. Like, they completely missed uh, the point of the, the book. Yeah. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Angle. Park. That's yeah, a great that's book. A good did you read, that's, that you actually, read the book? That's the one book that I've read like three times. Oh, okay. It's yeah. great. Yeah. I read that book in one sitting. I couldn't yeah, put yeah, it down. Yeah, no, you fly yeah. through that book oh, really well. Oh, so good. Crichton books are popcorn, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I remember I did a trip up to the woods, and I read, like, uh, we stopped in Reading. I picked up, like, six of those books, and I read all of them on the way back. The Crichtons? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that why it's called Reading? 
Because you read them? Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, <laughs> wow. I don't know. I, read, I loved Sphere. That's how I ended Sphere. up reading oh, Sphere. Sphere. Sphere was terrible. The movie's awful. Yeah. But God, it's a fun book. He uh, directed, book Crichton directed The Great Train Robbery, right? Is that correct? Ooh. Did he? I don't know. It's, it's, he directed Coma, right? He wrote Coma mm -hmm. and directed that, but uh, I think he... I want to say he directed Great Train Robbery when he was young, and I, I think I'm, I might be screwing up the timeline a little bit, but um, when he went to go work on a, a more modern movie that he wasn't getting a lot of respect because he was kind of young, and mm -hmm. so they're like, hey, check this movie out. Do you see what he's capable of? And it just turned the tide, and everybody mm. was like, oh my god. You didn't know that. Yeah. I legitimately didn't know he was a And he's oh, dead, god. you know. He died of cancer. But. Yeah. He and up, he's uh, still writing books. It's real weird. Yeah, well, that happens. Look at Orson Scott Card. Yeah. yeah. Not a nice guy. <laughs> and Ender's Game guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Orson Who? Who? Yeah. <laughs> Orson Scott Card always, I know we're, we're totally going in some strange. Oh, directorial credits says wow. Director. Nine director. Yeah, I didn't uh, know that. Nine Michael directorial watch party. I didn't know. Yeah, wow, should. I had no Nine? idea he had that many. How did that guy find the time? He's written so many, had written so many books. Yeah. It's, it's wild. The last one of his I read was Prey when that came out. So that was oh, right before he died. What did I read? Mm -hmm. Airframe? Pardon? Oh, Airframe yeah. was one that I read recently. The drama the oh, Andromeda Strain! Andromeda <laughs> Strain was good so yeah. good. And that was a good movie, if I remember correctly. That, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. For the time it came out. It was accurate, and it definitely invoked the same uh, feelings as, as the book. So. He does that really well. Yeah, he does. Uh, reading. Uh, so you do read, Brian? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I read. I read a little bit. Yeah, okay. I do the Audible. Me too. You read audiobooks? audiobooks? No, I, use the, I do audiobooks. No. I do both. I like Audible when I'm, uh, it's a good plug for Audible. Y'all can get some, <laughs> some money off of that. Uh, I do Audible when I'm cleaning or, or driving mm -hmm. long distances. It's great. I always, I always wanted that if you, if you bought the book in real life, that you get the audio copy of it. That's a good idea. That'd be you cool. know, because they did that with comics for a while, where you buy the physical and then you can get, you get the, the digital. digital yeah. 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 And I wish they. I, wish I, they I would, would like that because then, because I can't always take the book places, like you say, yeah. you're like cleaning or whatever, and like. Yeah. It's nice if you have a Kindle and you buy the Kindle version and you buy the audiobook, you can go back and forth and it keeps track for you. Yeah. I don't like Kindle. Oh, cool. I'm, yeah. I'm a, a book sniffer. I'm super into books. <gasps> yes, I love sniffing books. Yeah, I love the way they the smell. The old, old feel paper and, smell. Yeah, I can't do Kindle. I've never been able to do that. That. That's at great all. for traveling. I like the paper white because it's got the matte finish. Mm -hmm. I, I have and a. It's little and stupid, so mm -hmm. like it, you just throw them in a bag. Yeah. yeah. Some of them are waterproof. I don't know. Yeah. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's good for traveling, so you don't have to carry like seven different books. I had yeah. to because my board games were taking over my shelves, so I had to get rid of all of my physical books. Oh, because book games are no. more tactile. Not all, not all. Okay, look, I kept Lord of the Rings, I kept Dune, I kept, I kept the ones that, that, that matter, that I will always it, it's need. It's the words that matter. It's hard uh, to get rid of but books. But sometimes, sometimes the sweet, sweet binding. Mm. Yeah, right? And the smell. And the little and tiny the spider mites that like go between pages yeah, that nope. freak me out. Oh, <laughs> I don't think that. I knew about that. No, they're like little teeny tiny red little spider looking things. Is it because you don't clean? Do you no, not clean, clean your house? Papers. What's going on there? <laughs> Do you live in a garage? Huh? No, it's fine. It's normal. <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't know. No, no, I don't think so. No, I have a Ryan? I have a, I have a library. I don't Ryan know. says no. All right. Uh, but you also don't read those books, so it's probably crawling with them. Oh, yeah, they're probably yeah, all yeah. there. Riggedy Cat says uh, 49 Reddit, uh, writer credits for Crichton. Wow. Yeah. And he was two meters tall. Two point yep. What are we like? He was a huge. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what, what that like is. Well, I don't know what that Translate that to American. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we. We Multiply by so, stupid. We're yeah. so sad that we don't know the metrics. No, I know. Uh, just gonna glue an old page to the back of the Kindle. <laughs> oh, six foot nine? Jeez, he's ginormous. Dang. Six nine? No. Holy cow. Dang. Oh, wow. Oh, the Hobbit's good on, you know what? This is, I carry the Hobbit on uh, CD in my car because my car is a CD player. And when I, I've driven across country many, many, many times for work and stuff. And I'll listen to that over and over again. It's so good. <laughs> anyway, did y'all grow up on Tolkien? Yes. On what? God, yes, Tolkien. Oh, to Tolkien. 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 What show is he on? He wrote The Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah. oh shut the, the front movies? door. You don't know no, that. Front door is oh, shut. he just takes great joy in <laughs> fucking with me. <laughs> so you always just false word. Yeah. Yeah. Every time. Every time. Lord of the, that's your favorite, right? Keep Lord of the Flies? Yeah, Lord of the Rings. Uh, yeah, Middle Earth is my favorite. Lord of the Flies. Yeah, Lord of the Flies. 
My favorite is when Aragorn kills Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, spoiler alert. Yeah, no. spoiler. Yeah, no, I, uh, love, I love Lord of the Rings. No, I didn't grow up on them. I was forced to read them in uh, high school, but yeah. because I was forced, I didn't like them. Wait, who forced you? It's not on the usual high school curriculum. Nope. Yeah, Hobbit nope. and Lord of the Rings got dropped onto like optional curriculum in, in my school as well at some point. But they, no, my they teacher was just active. awesome and liked them. Oh, and the movies oh. were coming out at that time. Uh, I was gonna say, so. you, it's an advanced school that wants to. And my school was like, you read a separate piece and that's it. It was not good. <laughs> I, no, I, it, it was part of it. We had to like read the book and then watch the movie and then write a report and all this stuff. Oh, there you go. It, it was fun, but I couldn't get through two towers. Uh, uh, it's rough. So yeah. if, you, if you ever do it again, you got to think of it as seven books, not three, and then you then you'll be fine. No, it that helps. It that does. Because it's seven small books, and then the arcs make sense. Two towers is just like the middle weird three books, and if you focus on them in smaller arcs, it's way more digestible. Do you know how much I already don't read? So yeah. telling me to read seven versus three? It's the same amount good. of words. It's the but same it feels book. like more. No, longer. it doesn't. Yeah, it does. You read comics. Fuck you. Like, yeah. it's the same thing. It's, <laughs> well, just read these 13 issues to get one Yeah, but story. I'm looking at the pictures. So. Yeah. Oh, sweet Jesus. There's <laughs> illustrated editions. John yeah. Howe and Alan Lee make it beautiful. Wow, mm. how long is that book? It's like Does it make 17 the book volumes? Yeah, it's 17. It's no, like twice it as long. Because then there's it makes it the heavier, middle. but there's no additional <laughs> writing content. But there's the, I'm looking at twice as many things. Like I'm looking at the words, and then I have to stop and look at the picture. <laughs> yeah. And I'll read some more words. Yeah, and then I'll look at the pictures to finish. No, yeah. no, no, no. Did you have you ever seen any of the the cool map books that were made? Yeah. Yep. Those are really cool. Got them. What did you guys think of the recent mouse stuff going on, the banned I, books? I like any time something goes on a banned book list because it means some, a lot of people are going to yeah. read it. Yeah. Because like Mouse went under the, like it was really popular when it first came out and then it kind of fell under the radar and this has brought so much more yeah. attention to it. Which is like, awesome. What is that book? Yeah. Oh, read yeah. it. Yeah. There's yeah. a there's a great company. Oh gosh, I think it's called like the Band Books or Band Book List or something like that. And they make all kinds of like products for every every like book that's ever been banned, so you can just like flaunt it and look all cool and shit. Yeah, um, I love it. If I had, I, so I graduated from college and I was gonna keep going uh, to get my doctorate, but I was so burnt out. And I thought, oh, but if I I knew exactly what I wanted to study had I done it, and if I ever go back and do it, I will do this. And I wanted to teach band literature. I just thought that would be such cool coursework. Yeah, you know, they're incredible books mm -hmm. being banned over time it's such a bummer but i think no, you're right like cucumber it. just ban a book and that's the only way to make sure everyone reads it yep yeah mm -hmm. maybe yeah. there's a maybe it was a little you know pr stunt or something but you know i doubt it i, doubt I it. think they're just like we made our money oh well yeah. <laughs> walk away i lived in tennessee for a long time and just a couple weeks ago they had a a book burning Ugh. Of Harry Oof. Potter and uh, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. I didn't hear about that. Yeah, it was Harry Potter and um, what was the other one? Cucumber there. Well, uh, Percy Jackson wasn't too long after that, but I don't know if they lined up like that's that. That's ridiculous. Oh yeah, yeah. Because for the book companies, because they have to buy the books to burn them. Mm -hmm. I know it's funny. The people <laughs> that wrote the books are like, well, yeah, sure. No, no, well. do. Yeah, yeah. Guy mad, I guess. Yeah. It's oh, your there's, book. There's a there's a list at Barnes and Noble. It looks like. Oh, yeah, nice. they, they have they have uh, like displays out now for banned books. They're, it's awesome. I love that. Mm -hmm. I want to write a band book. <laughs> <laughs> band go, go, and into it, go into it with the intention. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to think about. These days, it feels like anything could get banned just because of canceling left and right. There's yeah. so many things, but you, they've got to know if they're like, oh, don't read these books, don't read these books, that that's going to be the first thing, especially yeah. in a church, you know? Yeah. But anyway, it's fascinating. Mm -hmm. Brian. Books are important. Yeah, that's why I got a whole library of ones that I don't read. <laughs> I don't read too many important books, not gonna lie. I read a lot of science fiction and fantasy, and that's generally where I stop. Sci-fi and someone... fantasy are important. What was the yeah. first big sci-fi series you ever read? First big sci-fi? Uh, Tripod Trilogy. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. I don't know that one. Those are good. Yeah, there's a joke. There's an autobiography. There's a joke. There's a joke. It's about the sandworm. <laughs> no, those, those are good. It's the sandworm origin story. No, I think those were, gosh, I'm going to sound like an idiot. I think those were H.D. Wells. I'm pretty sure. You're worried about that now? I am worried about it now. I don't remember. It was one, it was one of the classic sci-fi authors. Those are pretty cool. And then I also read the, the C.S. Lewis sci-fi trilogy. Oh, the the um. God, swiftly tilting planet. Planet. Yep. Yep. C.S. Lewis is baller. Yeah, love yeah. those. Um, yeah. That was kind of it for sci-fi, because I was way more into fantasy. Uh, I didn't really get into science fiction until I was older. Yeah. Do you have some favorite fantasy books? Well, Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. Besides uh, that one. Besides those, let's see. Um, 
<laughs> I liked the name of the, no, no, uh, God, the Eyes of the Dragon, that Stephen King one was super freaking weird. Um, I'm not the biggest Stephen King fan either. I, I really am not. But, Were you a uh, Kuntz guy? Because I feel like people grew up either loving King or Kuntz, and it was I, not. Neither. I love Stephen King neither. adaptations. I like it when they take his bullshit out and then make it into a, a movie that makes so many sense. pages. Yeah. yeah, you have to learn how to read Stephen King. I feel like yeah. I, I love Stephen King books. I read. I've read so many. Not. I haven't read a lot of the recent ones, but growing up, certainly I've devoured Stephen King books. And you, there's a cadence to his writing. Tasty? Yeah. That as you're reading, I feel like you can edit out. Mm -hmm. Stuff. Stephen yeah, King. I'm and then it's get a nasty letter from. You, <laughs> well, then you have to like know so much because at a certain point, it'll, all roads lead to the Dark Tower and, and all that shit. And I'm like, I just, I don't have the energy. <laughs> I yeah. can't keep up with that. Yeah, I like Kuntz because uh, he's more fantastical. Mm -hmm. mm. I had a Lightning was good, and then I liked Odd Thomas, but I was mad <gasps> that Odd Thomas. I felt like it didn't go long enough. There, mm -hmm. there was like this room, right? That oh, and yeah, I don't want no enough, spoilers, but enough. in yeah. Odd Thomas, the fact that they didn't talk more about that freaking room. Room. They just sort of like, oh, this crazy room, la yeah, la 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 la, you room, know. Room. It made me crazy. <laughs> you know what I wanted to like and didn't. <laughs> you room a bit. Get out of here. I, uh, Eye of the World or uh, the fucking <laughs> Robert Jordan stuff. Wheel of Time. Wheel of Time. Oh, I haven't read that. Um, Keep on God, it's so. It's yeah, dense, really any of but not in a good way. Yeah. It's just. I dense. play video games. All right. Let's yeah. talk about video games. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the stuff that we do. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to. To cut you out. Uh, all no, right. I just, I just never read any of this stuff, so I don't know what you're Honestly, talking about. Honestly, I don't know anything about video games. <laughs> the, the last video game I played was one of those kind that you have to solve puzzles to keep moving through the game, but it, and there was a. a it might have been missed. Oh gosh! Or yes. something. PC game, you're on like a little island. You gotta beat. It was on buttons. an island, and you like, <gasps> oh, yeah, pick up this potion because <gasps> later you're gonna. It's the best game. <laughs> Missed? Yes. Played. Oh, you like that one? Oh my god, yes. Yeah. It was fun. I mm -hmm. like games like that that you, well, okay, I only have one to go by, but I like that I had to figure out puzzles and things. If you have a smartphone, you should check out uh, the Room series of games. Oh, those are great. Mm -hmm. They're all they're all little puzzles. They're puzzles, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not big into the shooty, shooty ones. <laughs> those are mine. Is that your favorite? Yeah. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. the pew pew shooty shooty. Room game on Oculus Quest 2 is a VR version. Oh, snap. That's really cool. Oh, fun. I've never done VR either. Uh, it's fun. Do you get motion sickness? Uh, mm, I have, but not always. <laughs> Purell is the answer to that, in my humble I, My nurse taught mm -hmm. me that on an airplane once, that sure, when you're yeah. starting to feel uh, motion sickness in a car, a plane, or a boat, you splooge the, <laughs> no, <laughs> the, 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 the Purell in your hand and you sniff it, <laughs> and it's, it's, it makes your brain Get off of the sickness part and sniff and Purell. And focus it on actually a new works, poison. but it only works with Purell. I've tried it with other things and it's great. Is it because you're sniffing the alcohol it, content? I it just it, it hurts just for a high. second and then <laughs> just, it, yeah, I think it's like high. being knocked out and getting smelling salts. I you think know, it's Chuck, that if you get motion bad. sickness, huff paint. Yeah. Huff paint. Well, <laughs> it works. I'm telling you, I don't think it's bad. Well, maybe it's bad for you. Yeah. I don't know, but it, it works great. <laughs> just so squirt some context. It's uh, better some than context throwing up on the person yeah. sitting next to you on an airplane, I think. Yeah. Or maybe not, unless they're into that kind of thing. <laughs> I just open our can of barge cement. Mm -hmm. yeah. Barge glue. It's just, no, all right, I'm good. Worth the cancer. Yeah. yeah. Oh. All but, right, so well, I don't know anything about video games, so I don't know okay, how to, moving on. to yeah, reference that. Um, when felted people come into existence, they yeah. are created. Uh, in in beautiful ways. Mm -hmm. uh, how does that selection process? You think what what moves <laughs> a manager to when, to do that? Well, I, don't when, know, I don't know when, how to when put a it. Mommy felt it. Yeah. No, no, Daddy no, felt but you know what I mean. Like, what do you think is what is the vibe? Do you think it's like a personality thing first? Is it like nature versus nurture with felt? Yeah, folks? that's what I, I guess. So yeah, nature versus oh, nurture. Yeah, probably nature. I nature, guess. Yeah. I mean, it's a little bit of both. It's a little bit yeah. of everything. Environment means a lot. Yeah. yeah. You know, just we're just like people. It's like we're people. We're people. We're people. We're people. We're well, people better too. than people, probably. Oh well, shit. Don't I'm, you think? I'm gonna argue with that. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> What's your biggest vice? Coffee? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Sex? What? Yes. Sex? Yeah. yeah. You're just a you're a hedonistic feller, huh? Yes. Yeah. All right. John, sugar. Your, sugar. Do you have a favorite? Smarties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smarties. Uh, there was a day <laughs> Chunk came in with like a bag of Smarties, like a big like party bag of Smarties. Mm -hmm. Walk away for two minutes. 
come back as just empty wrappers all over the desk. <laughs> You're <laughs> pretty svelte for a candy whore. Well, so he's smart. <laughs> uh, Smarty's whore. actually like not terribly high on calorie oh. count. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're I, like in the candy world, they're one of the most least worst candies least for you. Worst. Least worst. Least mm-hmm. worst. Nice. I, when I chew on Smarties, they, they make my face feel weird. They like, like that little like, they, back they, of the teeth tingle. It's that, that and the granule or something. Mm-hmm. It kind of it kind of freaks me oh, out. Oh, so you wouldn't like like Scottish chalk candy then? What's that? It's chalk? basically yeah. It has the texture of chalk, but it's candy. It's so there's lots of like cornstarch involved in it, but it's like a light flavoring little color. It's kind of like. Think of like a Neckel wafer if it was a long log oh, and it was crumbly. Yeah. But not. like soft yeah. and crumbly, like an after dinner mint almost. I do not like Neckel wafers. Neckel wafers are the best and I'm so glad oh. they're back. Mm-hmm. You have a definite style. Yeah. Something that you like. That kind Crunchy of... discs. Crunchy discs. <laughs> yeah. 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 I Is love that a it. book somewhere? Like a Pac-Man. Uh, Brian, what about you? Do you have a favorite? Albany's one? gummy bears. Oh my god, they're so good. I'm celiac, so I can only eat the Black Forest gummy bear. Yeah, I know. Me too. No, you can have Albanese. They are also gluten-free. Oh, yeah. they are? They are. All of them. Uh-huh. Albanese are the best. Because yeah. you can't do the, the Har- Harbro. Harbro, yeah. You no, know, Harbro are garbage. Those are I liked those for a long time, and then I had Albanese, and I was like, no. Have you ever had chocolate-covered gummy bears? I'm obsessed. No. They're so yeah, those good. are good. They're Where really good. Where you get good. those? The store. Yeah. Anywhere? Well, I'm, a, I'm a Reese's peanut butter cup guy. Oh, yeah. Huh? You're a what? A Reese's peanut butter cup oh, guy? What did you hear? You said I'm a racist peanut butter cup. What? Like, yeah. I don't know what that means. Those are much harder to sell on the market these days. <laughs> it's like, wow, what those sales are right. rifles. Oh, Coming yeah. clean, huh? Uh, the yeah, stay away pe- from the sugar free ones oh. of the gummy bears. Oh, sugar free, wait, sugar free gummy bear sugar ones? Sugar free gummy bears. Oh, I know where this is going because there is a review online of someone yes. who ate like a bag of those yes. and I can't spoil it. You need to read it on your own. I will send you the link after yeah. this because it's, it's Is it kind of like the Olestra <laughs> problem? <laughs> Do you remember the potato chip? Lay's put out a potato chip back in the day that oh. were supposed to be low. They used Olestra fat, whatever that is made out of, mm-hmm. and oh. it caused some. Serious issues. Yeah, it's, it's mm. kind of like, <laughs> like that. Yeah. Oh, it's man. very long, though. It's, a, it's an epic journey of this poor man's insides. Oh, mm-hmm. I'll have to check so that good. out. I, some of the Amazon reviews are hilarious. They're so good. They're so good. I've, have you ever um, uh, gone on to the, uh, the, the, is it Hummel? I'm going to say Hummel Schmidt. Sh- 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 that's yep, like fancy. Yep. Do you know what I'm talking about? The no. Hummel Schmidt. I don't Hummel? know. The little figurines? No, 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 no. It's um, it's like, well, it's probably German. It's like fancy. I have its Hummel. Furniture. Humboldt st- Schumacher sh- something. Sh- me, me, me. Yeah, yeah, some of their, some of their reviews are really Ikea? funny too. Ikea? I love Ikea. <laughs> Be Swedish. No, they're, they're, yeah. Are you writing these down so you get some money ad revenue from all these <laughs> yeah. references? Is that how ads work? We just have to say company names. Amazon, Amazon, Nintendo. Amazon. <laughs> Every time you say SpaceX. They send you a SpaceX? SpaceX. Oh, SpaceX. SpaceX. <laughs> or SpaceX, either yeah. way. My next I would love to be I sponsored want. by <laughs> SpaceX. Thank you. SpaceX. Yeah. Do y'all have Teslas? What do you drive? Oh, I wish. <laughs> 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 no, no, we do not have Teslas. My next car, my, I just got, uh, I have something to brag on myself on. I do just uh, took my car, to, it was starting to make this terrible noise that I'd never heard before, so I took it into the mechanic, mm-hmm. and I got new brakes. And mm-hmm. when okay. I went to pick up the car, the man, it was at Lopez uh, Mechanics in Santa Monica, and the man, he said, come with me. It's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. All right. <laughs> Into the back room. So I went around the back thing, and there was this box <laughs> filled with stuff. And he said, do you see that? And I said, yeah. He said, those are your brakes. I said, yeah. He said, those are the original brakes. I was like, yeah. He Go said, on. you have 150,000 miles on your car. And I was like, yeah. He's like, you. I've never seen this before. I was like, you mean I, that's it. He's like, you must be a really good driver. So I'm, I'm, I was like, can we call my dad? <laughs> <laughs> call my dad. I was like, dad, listen, I'm a good driver. Anyway, that's I mean, 150,000 miles on your original brakes. On the original brakes. That's impressive. Yeah, wow. we'll see if the second set does that well. But mm. my next car, Change I think the pads I, often. I, I have a Scion and I oh. love it. It's mm-hmm. I call it the toaster oven. And oh, it's the dri- XB? Yes, the XB. Yeah, oh. yeah and mm-hmm. it's um, not the big, huge toaster, but the smaller toaster. Oh, they yeah, don't the make newer, them the anymore. Newer toaster. Yeah, and that thing has driven me across country so many times, and I love it. And nice. it's great for hauling my artwork and all the other things that mm-hmm. I do bodies and things yeah, um, you know <laughs> yeah you know but uh uh i'm gonna get a tesla i think and another 150,000 miles or so because that thing should probably go another mm-hmm. double it yeah yeah this is now car talk I hope yep. you're okay. sweet 
Yeah. Which is what I know nothing about. Yeah. It's got four wheels and I'm not dead. Shape some, I, this, I feel like they need to kind of adjust a little bit of the shape on the Tesla, but mm-hmm. I've been in, like you, do you agree? Yeah. No. I don't, I don't think, agree. you don't agree? I think it's great. I don't know. I, I don't well, which version are you talking about though? Um, well, technically all of them. The I mean, I haven't, like I was really excited for the SUV version. I thought, oh, that's gonna be super cool. And even that, I was kind of like, oh, it doesn't look that much different than the others. Yeah, it's I don't know. Huge they are. Inside yeah. though, inside and the those going things, doors is awesome. Right. Yeah, inside yeah. it's cool. It's like being mm-hmm. in a spaceship for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. the technology is ridiculous. It's so cool. All I remember so cool. is going into a store and playing Daft Punk on the dash. That, that's that's all I did in there, and then I left. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sound system's can, ridiculous. The um, the horn is digital, and so you can change the sounds. Mm-hmm. So you can make a whatever sound you want <laughs> for the horn. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. I like the little thing that have you. I don't know if you've seen the videos on YouTube, but uh, or on TikTok, but there's a, a function that he put in that Elon's engineers did, so that when you drive into a graveyard, it shows people walking that aren't there, oh. which is such a great feature. <laughs> it's, awesome. it's totally freaked people out. They're like, oh my god! Awesome. But of course, obviously he. You know, engineered that, but that's why I love Elon because he's such a freaking nerd. It's great. <laughs> and he what puts it in all of his stuff. Yeah, I think that's really cool. I like that it has a sentry mode too, that you mm-hmm. can be out in the middle of nowhere and. There's some great videos of it capturing like, stuff. Like, are we talking Batman turrets or like what? what it it turns on the cameras and records. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, and it and it tells you when someone's coming close, and mm-hmm. which is good for women. I feel like who are traveling mm-hmm. cross country by themselves, like yeah. I have. It's nice to know that if I I don't have to get a motel if I didn't need to, I could just turn it on. If I had one of those, I could turn on sentry mode. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think that's I'll, cool. Yeah, I like that it'll come pick you up from the parking spot. So you can just stand outside like the restaurant and just call it and it'll unpark itself and come get you. I guess that trips me out. Yeah. That self driving thing freaks me out. I yeah, it makes my in- control freakedness is Yeah, it's pretty interesting. But it's really accurate. That's what I hear. Yeah, yeah. I'm just I tried scared it once. of it other fun. human beings that are on the road. That somehow something is gonna. Oh yeah, no. I trust computers way more than I trust human beings. Me too. Beings. But if all of the cars were self-driving, that'd be one There's, thing. Because they could talk to each other. Yeah. So they would know where everybody is. Yeah. 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 But and right I, now I don't trust yeah, it because I, like, I like to be in control of the thing. But it's really hard to program for stupid. That's, yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. You know. In, yeah. You've been talking to my dad. <laughs> 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 Heard that a lot growing up. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm. I feel like that there's some sort of device in there that none of us know about that Elon will just like flip a switch and then we'll all be in our own little shuttle pods when we yeah. all have Teslas. Blast into Mars once he goes yeah. there. I made a bet with a friend of mine that he thought that we would be beginning to, to at least make the first steps of colonizing Mars in 10 years. I was like, no, that's not gonna happen. Mm-hmm. We had a, we have a good bet. I think he's. He's definitely gonna lose. I was like, maybe 50, 60 years, but 10 years, there's no way. It's gonna happen pretty quick, you watch. Do you think? I think there's a plan, isn't there now? There is a plan, but 10 years, this is, so we made the bet two, I think two years ago. Um, So there's only, you know, eight I think it's gonna happen faster than you think. But 10 years? Well, look look how fast we got to the moon. Like we did that in less than ten years, and then we stopped trying for a long time. Yeah, we yeah. stopped trying for. If we kept going, they lost, like we'd they already lost be there. If there's a military <laughs> reason for us to flex it, we will do it. Yeah, yeah. And that's generally what. Or if there's a private citizen that can pay for it, like Elon, yeah, then yeah. we'll do it. Yeah. So, or or a handful of private. I feel like I'm yeah. just surprised we're not like starting with the moon or something. Well, we are. We're yeah, gonna go back to the moon, moon like in the next uh, year or no, two. No, I mean like if we're yeah. building something, like if we're talking about like building like a well, colony. Well, it's probably about something. Don't go on the moon so they can launch from the moon. Yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do like a moon. Base thing coming up. Moon base. Yeah. Moon and base. I mean, if they can figure out Moon. how to 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 put the atmosphere and the water back into. Yeah, Mars. But it's like if we could terraform other planets, we should start here. <laughs> fix I mean, this right. one, yeah, and true. then go fix the other one. I had a couple of JPL people on the show on Hey Human, and yeah. uh, I had the the woman that drives the rover or the and the new one, um, the, ins, what's it, the inspiration. And the one that's on Mars. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, oh, she actually drives it. Yeah. There's oh, like cool. People that are you know. Doing all the buttons. She does. I, wasn't, I wasn't sure how much was like program pre-programmed. Uh, yeah, they're the they're they're in the moment, but it's also programmed. If that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and then uh, a cartographer who who maps Mars as they yeah. go. Hell yeah. It's so freaking cool. That's crazy. That's cool. It's so cool. And I didn't realize until I interviewed them that it snows on Mars. What? Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, it's nuts. I know. So cool. I love is that, that on stuff. your podcast? It is on the ah, podcast. I have to go listen to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I did a couple, when we were going to Mars, I did a couple of Mars ones, and uh, it was nice. really interesting. I the, Here's my thing, and tell me what y'all think, but right. it's the, 
I, I love the idea of space exploration. If aliens landed right now and said, let's go, I'd be like, all right, do adios this. everyone, let's do this. <laughs> space. But all that money being poured into um, space travel and tourism and all that, space tourism and all that stuff, mm -hmm. I'd just like to see some more of the stuff on Earth getting fixed first. Yeah, but but so, there's so little money being spent on space. Yep. There's so many other things that are like, yep. spend so much more money yeah. that, that, that like space is so little. You, that is, so, I mean, so Elon just did a live stream talking about his new Starship project, uh -huh. and then he, he started with that. Yeah. And he said, um, you know, we're talking about all this money being spent on space travel and stuff, but he pulled up the numbers. And NASA NASA's budget is only like 0.03% or like 0.3% of all the budget spent. So, oh, like, oh, there's such a tiny portion going to this. But 0.03% of trillions of dollars is a lot of money. Oh, well, sure. Feel like but the rest is, where's the rest going? Well, that's See, a really good question. Pews, man. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. So I mean, it's a it's actually not later. a lot of money being spent. But and also, you get a lot of uh, a lot of technology comes from space that gets trickled down to regular life, like Velcro. Oh, uh, absolutely. So I think the so, benefits I mean, there's are a bonus. Yeah, I mean, I get that. I get that. I think I just get frustrated with like, the homeless problem and the no, food I agree. problem. We need that sweet, sweet Star Trek economy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You should just go. buy less warplanes. And, I agree. Uh, and they spend that money on that. I agree. How many times over can you kill a, pe a person? Yeah, I, so many. I totally agree. So many. I play video games. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. It is interesting. I, and I I love the idea that someday we can have the the space travel like it is in yeah. Star Trek. I grew up watching that stuff and just... Do you, do you have a favorite Star Trek series? Next Generation. Next Gen. Yeah, Next Gen. Generation. Picard! Mm -hmm. I just watched Voyager over um, the pandemic. That was Janeway is badass. So <laughs> she really you don't like cucumber? She has, she has a healthy respect for coffee yeah. and yes, yes, no, Janeway like can get it yeah. for sure. Yeah. The show wasn't mm -hmm. as great, but uh, but the, the other people are good. I love yeah. the I love the characters in that show in Voyager. Yeah. Mm. What did you not like about it, Chunk? Uh no, I loved it. I loved the show. It's just a lot they had a lot of like Oh, something's happening. They never had a reason for things. It's um, just like, oh, it's some kind of something. Yeah. Oh, it's this unexplainable thing. And they never got around to explain anything. Oh, uh, yeah. Happened. I get that. I get that. But yeah. the characters, I love the characters. When, Sounds like lazy writing. It was lazy writing. They had lazy writing. <laughs> when we were little, my, my brother's much older than I am, and we were little, we used to obsessively watch the, the original Star Trek. Mm -hmm. And we would be responsible for setting the dinner table. And my brother would always say, OK, during the commercial, we have to, we have to set the table before the commercials turn off and go back to the show or else the Klingons will get us. And so we would be upstairs and be like, oh my God, and I was so scared. I'm like, oh my God, the Klingons, Klingons are real. They're real. <laughs> yeah. So cool. That's my yeah. They're not as scary as Slee Stack, but they're still, <laughs> <laughs> they're still up there. Uh, well, do y'all have any questions for me? I feel like I've been hogging asking oh, you anything. Uh, yeah, I got one. Who okay. are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Um, you said something about art. Yeah. What do you uh, do? I'm an abstract painter as well oh, as a podcaster. Okay. I also uh, just sold my uh, second short film. So yeah. oh, I'm dabbling in the painter. screen. What's, what's the film? Uh, well, there were two short films. One was about Alzheimer's and baseball. You yes. acting or writing? No, or I wrote them. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then the other one is about uh, two people at odds over Christmas. And they can were we for a particular project. So. And can we watch those anywhere? Uh, not yet, but I hope someday. Okay. You know how that goes. You get, mm -hmm. you know. You're also a musician. I am. I'm a professional songwriter and performer. Yeah. Aww. What do you play? Do you uh, sing or play something? I, I sing and I write and uh, I play guitar and, and piano, although mm. nobody necessarily wants me to hear, hear me play those instruments, but I can. <laughs> like if I were to perform, that's what I would sit at or strum. Um, mm. But when I write, I tend to... Um, I tend to be in rooms with people that are way better at their instruments and then I'm the what's called a top liner. So I write lyrics and melody. Nice. Yeah, okay. it's fun. Yeah, <laughs> I've had uh, cuts on people like Reba McIntyre and oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's, I feel like she's the only country people that people are like, oh, yeah, that everybody knows, yeah, regardless of what yeah, genre. But I know Reba. Yeah. Watch yeah. her show. Then. Yeah, Reba's really, she, I met her and she's the coolest. Mm -hmm. She's so nice. And Dolly Parton is a yes. goddess. Yep. Yeah. I've never met Dolly, but she's she does so much for for humankind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's nice people. Yeah, she is nice people. What kind of music are y'all into? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, film lot. scores. A lot. Oh yeah. yeah. Scores. Film scores. Film yeah. Scores. yeah. Okay. Do you have a film favorite scores, composer? Big band. What? Composer, favorite composer? Oh. 
Oh, That's boy. so hard. John Williams, of course. Yeah. He just turned 90. Too. Holy cow. And nice Indiana Jones 5, and then one other movie is going to be his last scores ever. Before he dies? What? Just uh, He's ending. He's done. He's finished. He's pulling his own plug? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's ending it all. I think he's earned no, it. He's reti yeah, he's retiring after Indy 5 fair. and one more. That's yeah. you, have you Did you see when he performed with the, at the, um, what is it the called? Bowl? Mm -hmm. Huh? Hollywood Bowl? Is that what it is? Yeah, the Hollywood Bowl. He does that Bowl. show every yeah, year. Yeah, 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 the Hollywood oh, yeah. Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he gonna yeah. keep doing that? I don't know. I went and saw Black Panther at that, and they had a full orchestra and did all. Oh, it was gorgeous! So freaking. Yeah, I love seeing that. Saw, I saw Harry Potter with yeah, a Harry full Potter. orchestra. Oh, it was so mm -hmm. good. I've never done it. Oh, oh it's so worth it. Go. You should go. Yeah, I should. It's really neat. It's, it's magical. I mean, mm -hmm. just not to throw that word around lightly, mm -hmm. but it really is. It's it's something else being able to hear the score done live. Yeah, and for the the Black Panther, they brought in. Uh, singers from from you know in Africa that mm -hmm. came in and mm -hmm. just oh it was so cool yeah but that sounds amazing Mars has no magnetic field they're talking about terraforming possibilities and how mm -hmm. it can't hold an atmosphere uh -huh. got it transporters or death machines oh is that that's or a, a little bit. That's track talk track talk mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and then you figure them out then they're fine yeah <laughs> like Willy Wonka yeah right yeah, yeah reassemble yeah, yeah. that course. didn't happen Two very bits. often that mm -hmm. people got mushed up in the transporters mm -hmm. on the show. Like, Music wise, yeah. Well, you guys are great. Yeah. I don't know how long we're supposed to do this for. I, no. it, if this seems like a, a anybody natural... watching wants to donate to the pup culture, yeah. uh, foster rescue, oh, please yeah. do so. We're fun. We're raising money for. They, what do they do? Yeah, tell us about that again. They rescue uh, pups. Pup culture. Yeah, they rescue pups. They they ensure that the the dogs never have to go into shelter. So it's Aww. a it's a no kill program and it's also a no shelter program. So it's they're always with people who are loving and kind to them. So they just like pick up a dog, take it to a home. Yeah. No middle ground. No That's middle. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because it's very obviously traumatic for mm -hmm. a, an animal to go into shelter. It's very scary, mm -hmm. and so this way they don't have that. They just keep getting nurtured and loved upon. Oh. So but yeah, it's yeah, good. Bad. I'm a big dog fan. Yeah, you could have used some of this. What? You could use something like that. <laughs> you could yeah, use that, Ryan, because yeah. maybe. Well, I didn't die, so we're good. Maybe somebody could foster you. Oh, that could be fun. Do you have a foster home? I mean, I got parents. I don't need them. But, I mean, now that you're homeless. Yeah, I live here. It's fine. Oh, you do live here? Yeah, I mean, oh, okay. no, we let wish. you stay I that here. Was like yeah, I live here. I that was like a tense home. moment just now. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Back to the dogs. Um, <laughs> do you have a favorite dog? Do I? I like Ooh. mutts. 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 I'm a big fan of mutts. But mm -hmm. I do like Weimaraner ears. Mm -hmm. uh, they're so soft. Um, and I think... Like, Doberman pincers are, are gorgeous as long as they're not... I don't like it when they get their... I want the long the tail and I want yeah. the floppy ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want them to get chopped up like that. Oh, yeah. That makes me sad. Yeah. Anytime mm -hmm. I see a dog that's been, uh, you know, done that too. Augmented. I like Augmented, a, thank you. That was the word I was looking for. I, I can't remember the name, but I like that dog that's supposedly descendant from the Egyptian dogs. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know cool. what it is, but it's what's I can't it look, remember what it looks like. Yeah, it, lo it looks like like an Egyptian dog, like, like all the a, Egyptian right. hieroglyph. It looks, it looks like Egyptian hieroglyph dog, like an Anubis. Anubis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a jackal. It, mm, no, there's yeah, a, but there's an there's actual dog breed. though that was like descendant of like the pharaohs and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll look it up. I have an Anubis by my bed because you know they they're good protector spirits. Yeah, and he sits on top of my dog, uh, um, my dog Mikey, who passed away. I have his ashes. I have a third of his ashes because. What shared. happened to the rest? Did you lose well, them? a third. No, a third went There's to my ex. There's a chocolate milk incident that we don't like to yeah, talk about. Yeah, a third went to my ex, and then a third mm. went to the family that I adore, my second family that uh, watched Mikey whenever I was out of town and stuff, and so we all got a third of him. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's hard to lose a dog or any animal for sure, yeah. but woof. That's brutal. <laughs> that on purpose. <laughs> did I woof? You yeah, woofed. I, did I woofed. I lost the dog once. Yeah. He made his way back though. He finally found them. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, you're so lucky. I used, I like I like dachshunds mm -hmm. and pit bulls. Mm -hmm. Pit bulls are so sweet. They're and so sweet. I want a sholo, but I don't think I could take care of it because they seem like very high maintenance. Oh, What's oh, a sholo? Oh, oh, oh. Um, like Dante from um. From Coco, oh, the, the hairless dogs, the hairless dogs the, mm -hmm. the, from from the Aztecs. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah, those are cool. Okay, cool. But they're like, they have no hair, so you have to like keep them lathered and <laughs> make sure they don't go outside. And... I and hate myself those... for it, but my favorite no, dogs are the, the ones. Oh, thank you for the follow. Thanks. The ones where we, we played God the most. Like, same. I love dachshunds. No. I love corgis. I love Cor French bulldogs. I love pugs. I don't, I'm not a fan of the swoosh <sighs> face. I know they have swoosh face. I know it's terrible for them. I know their lives are miserable, but no, they're so fucking No, it's not that. Good. I just aesthetic. I don't know. I like a snout. I like a good snout on a person and on a dog. Good snout. Corgis well, make me uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I figured it out. Mm. It's literally it? called the Pharaoh Hound. Pharaoh oh. Hound. Yeah. Oh. But, but it looks like Anubis. It's got like the tall ears. Yeah. Oh, cool. Naturally, or do they chop her up to do that? Uh, no, I think no, it's all natural. natural. Yeah, that's cool. Just a very pointy dog. Yep. That's and like... if I got one, I'd name it Emotep. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I got a plan. You do? Why or not? if I got a pug, I'd name it Frank. Mm -hmm. and then, of course. Uh, yeah. I've known of Frank the Pug. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And I've known two, my friend has a friend who has a French bulldog named Betty White, and then I met a French bulldog <laughs> uh, at Bordner's. Remember Bordner's Cucumber? I do remember Bordner's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the, that French bulldog was called Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> 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 so funny. I love it. Uh, let's see. Peruvian Inca orchid dogs. Oh, cool. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Don't oh, thanks for follow D20 Deathmatch. We're going to be playing with you later tonight. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. What are y'all doing tonight? What, what was that second thing that I saw? Oh, we're, we're guessing on D20 Deathmatch, which is like a D&D &D fight to the death. So oh, instead sweet. of like, it's all PvP, we're all going to be beating the shit out of each other, I guess. Does oh. PvC. Do you take your own personal characters or get new ones so that you don't? Because we, if you die, then you have to start over. We right? made fresh ones for these folks. Yeah, yeah I don't okay. think we're, it's an ongoing campaign. I, I, don't, I don't know. We're not sure. D20, you tell us. <laughs> do you, there you go. Do you keep, so when you go from Dungeon Master to Dungeon Master, do you keep your, ooh, you, the you blood You can will flow. if it lines up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but, but it's probably better to get new characters. Typically, sometimes. you start something new. Yeah, sometimes. Because sometimes people just ask, like, hey, you got a level 10? And that's all they care about. Or, like, or, or hey, you got a bard? And then you dig through your bards, and then you figure okay. it out. Okay. This is kind of a weird question, but do y'all dream in D&D &D ever? I no. have not. No, I have not done that. I wish I would. No, that would be nice. Because if you play it a lot, I would think that it would sort of start to permeate into your brain. Yeah, not that much. Yeah, not that, I don't know. I wish it would. Yeah, I don't be think fun. I don't ever have. I don't know how to D&D dream. Mm -mm. Would you do, if... A genie popped down and said, I'm going to take you to a real life D&D &D game where you Absolutely no. not. You wouldn't do it. Too no. terrifying? Die. Oh, I'd it's be like dead. Nothing but combat? No, yeah. thank you. I, I want that yeah. peaceful hobbit life way off in the corner somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Combat yeah. that's dictated by how well you roll a dice? Right. Nope. It's all luck. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Sounds mm -mm. like life. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> it would be an, an exciting world. I mean, I feel like oh, the sure. elves and and it'd be magic uh, and, and Lord of the Rings kind of like a, a, a fantasy half. realm for sure, just not D and D realm because it's really super it's, violent. It, it can be, yeah, it really can be. Interesting. Yeah. How old were you all when you started playing? Thirty years, years ago. <laughs> 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 so, recently. Five it years just, ago. Four years. Oh, yeah. you're new. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, we're new. We're green. Chunk, yeah. did you have a big learning curve or was it pretty um, easy? I mean, I still don't really know how to play that well. Yeah, I know we're good. Well, if it's if it's based on the dice roll, uh, it seems like you don't. I don't understand. No, that. It's, it's more like keeping track of what your character can, character can do. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like the rules of stuff. Yeah. The, hard, the hardest oh. part for me. Oh, what's up? Thank you, Captain Squirrel. Captain Squirrel. Oh, oh, thanks for twenty five bucks. bucks to the pups. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> thanks, Captain Squirrel. Thank you. Yeah. Um, ah. For me, the hardest part was the fact that you could do anything. So it's just reining in the brain power to like. <laughs> just remember simple things like I'm going to walk through the door and turn on the lights and check for traps and check yeah. the box that's in the corner. You know, that's the part that took forever for me to figure out. And Using like, your imagination. <laughs> yeah, pretty and much. And if you like really like crunchy strategy, you can also find games that will lean heavily into combat. So it's like, all right, well, if I do this thing, that gives you a boost on your next turn, which lets you like, you know, hit twice or do whatever. Right? Combat so was the easiest part for me together. to pick up. Do you partner up then? Do you have to rely on each other or is it usually, just yourself? Yeah, usually I mean, a good, good players will have a good layout. We usually just yeah. build whatever we want and hope for the best. Um, yeah. But yeah, like a balanced team is important because you have yeah. like a healer, a tank, and all that stuff. So you ever play like or see video games where it's like everyone's like, I'm the tank, I'm gonna go, you know, get hit a lot. So that everyone else can do all the damage and someone's in the back healing. That that all that stuff kinda is birthed from D D. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. I'm excited to try it. Yeah. I'm surprised you haven't, given your brother. I know. You know, I've sat and watched mm -hmm. when he would, whenever I go home to visit, I stay with my brother and sister in law and uh, my whole family lives in Seattle and they have their the games and they 
go on forever, it seems like. They, they to kind of pick up where they left off. Is there's no end in sight, as far as I could tell. It um, depends, yeah. Yeah, but we it was, it's a about lot two, of fun. Two, they, years. they get really into it. They seem to be having a blast. A lot of junk food gets eaten, which is mm -hmm. always exciting. And uh, some martinis. Oh, love a good martini. <laughs> Even better. Do you drink when you play? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, you do? <laughs> Almost it as a rule, yeah. That's a rule, yeah. <laughs> That's funny, yeah. <laughs> so they, they get really into it. And Cucumber actually gave me a recommendation for a present for my brother's birthday. I got, oh, Or was yeah. it Christmas? Now I can't remember, but because it's around the same time. But mm -hmm. uh, I got him... Uh, a set of dice from Foundry. Yeah, uh, North Foundry. North Foundry. It's North one Foundry. of your good yeah. friends of ours. Friends. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and uh, they they were very well received. They were um, oh, lapis lapis Lazula. die, and then uh, and it was a bunch of them. I picked out a whole bunch because uh, there's so many to. It's crazy. There's so many. Do you use all oh. those at once? It's crazy. You sometimes can. some yeah. people so will like pick a set for a character, but oftentimes it's nice to have a big pile around because sometimes when you do damage, you need like twelve d sixes or something. And, and people collect these dice. Oh, I, for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I have a friend, Trevor, and he's I've never seen. He shows pictures of his dice collection, and it's, it's there's so many. Yeah. Yeah, but it's yeah, addictive. my brother Jeremy was really excited, and I got him a, a wooden box to keep him in that had Elvish written on it, oh, yeah. which Perfect. neither of us can read, and I have no idea what it says, but, yeah. <laughs> it's probably it's like, like, fuck you, you know, bitch. Bitch. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, oh, my brother nice. learned Klingon when we were younger, like, when he was in high, he's a lot, he's seven years older than me, so when we, he was in high school, he learned some Klingon, and I remember he, he would say things to me, I had no idea what he was saying, but, <laughs> but I don't think he ever learned Elvish. Oh. I watched it, there's a documentary, I can't remember what it's called, about the uh, there's a guy that creates all these languages for films and books and things. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I've seen that, dude. I follow him all over the place. Yeah. I cannot it's remember his name. super cool. Yeah, he's a guy who, like, made Dothraki and yeah. or made it a functional language. Yeah. And, yeah, he's cool. Yeah. What a job, huh? Right? What a oh, dream. That's crazy. Yeah. I was, um, have you seen the, are you into documentaries? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the uh, How To with John Wilson? Mm -mm. <gasps> it's so good. It's episodic documentary. And uh, in one of the episodes, they uh, go and they're in a. He, John goes to this group, and they uh, are all speaking Klingon. It's, it's just cool. <laughs> it's, That's awesome. I don't know. I love stuff like that. I think it's neat that people get so into something, and really commit to it. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. I love that. Yes. Well, you guys are great. Thank I don't you. know like how long we're supposed to go. Like I said before, no, but it's I, good. Yeah, Our legs I, are tired. We yeah. don't get chairs. Yeah, I really appreciate you inviting me to come down to of the course. studio, and it's been really, really fun. And yeah. for those of you that are gonna listen later on Hey Human, thank you for listening. For those of you that participated in this, and um, oh, dice addiction is real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, furries. Oh wait, who's furries? I guess that's us. Hi, I demons must us. die. <laughs> oh, I, I think of furries as the yep, sexual same. thing. I mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure, why not? I mean, I, there's got to be a sexual proclivity to puppets. I can't imagine oh. that's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, 22 so pieces of proof running around. <laughs> yeah, anyway, thank you. you. Thank you all. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. On that and note. we'll end on that. Yeah. <laughs> what a great note to end on. <laughs> this has been a lot of fun. Thank you. Hey, goodbye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Okay, goodbye. Okay, bye-bye.